Hey friends, this video is about the classification of antidepressants. So, before dealing with the classification of antidepressants, I would like to tell you about a short story. So, this story deals with a man named Moclobimide. Yeah, you heard it right, Moclobimide. I know it's a strange name, but it is as it is. So, Moclobimide was an addict and he ran a desi shop. So, Moclobimide was an addict and ran a desi shop. So, he began to remain cut off from his surroundings and he fell into the traps of depression. Then, he just wanted to take a break from this world and he just wanted to have his own space. He wanted to create a space of his own. So, he came up with a solution. He began to vent, be mad. So, Moklobimide was an addict. He ran a desi shop. He began to become cut off, depression, then he wanted space, then he began to vent, be mad. Now on to the classification of the antidepressants. So first one is RIMAs that is reversible inhibitors of the enzyme MAO-A. The next one is TCAs that is the tricyclic antidepressants. The next one is SSRIs that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and the next classification is SNRIs that is selective noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors and the final classification is atypical antidepressants so as you remember the story first one is moclobimide moclobimide it is a reversible inhibitor of mao a and then next one is chlorgylin from moclobimide moclobimide and chlorgylin then is tcas tcas can be classified into two the first one is noradrenaline plus serotonin reuptake inhibitors and the next one is predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors so back to the mnemonic addict a d d i c t a for amitriptyline d is for doxepine d is for dothiapine i for imipramine c for clomipramine and t for timipramine then is r a n d and these are the predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor R A N D. R is for riboxetine, A for amoxapine, N for nortriptyline, and D is for disipramine. Then is F F D S P A C E. F F D S P A C E. So the first F stands for fluoxetine. Next one is for fluvoxamine. D for depoxetine. S for sertraline. P A for peroxetine. C is for citalopram. And E for acetalopram. So these are the SSRIs. Next is SNRI. We want V N D. Then Ven D. Venlafaxin and duloxetine next about a typical antidepressant b m m a a t t b m m a a t t b for bupropion m for meanserin m for mirtazapine a for atomoxetine the next a is for amineptin t for tianeptin and d for trazodone I hope this video was helpful for you in learning antidepressants. Thank you.